go ahead and put a new weapon in the scene. So we're starting which is the default values here. And we've already taken a look at the brushes. We're going to go ahead and go down here until we get to the first part of our properties. So in the first set here, uh, your first option is going to be the weapon show weapon. As the what state is it going to show as? Do you want to show with the show weapon player combined? And what this means is that the the tile animation, say for instance you have a player and you want to render that the image that you're working with is player and weapon are together, um, that's going to be this one. So it's going to simply use one image and show the player weapon combined animation. Um, the player weapon separate, this means that there's no animations for player on this weapon. It simply has eight directional uh, or less um, animations. And you just want to be able to show both of them. And you can show this in front or behind if you're wanting to. The other one is that you just simply want to use the bullet. Um, you don't actually want to show the weapon at all. You just want to show uh, the whether it's the bullet coming out or whether it's a punch that's actually happening or something. Um, that's all you want to show with it. So that's what you would do for it. All right. So for instance, we'll go ahead and do this one since we've been using this one right here. And let me go ahead and uh, close out on this. So now the weapon's not gone, it's just simply hidden. Um, it's active, which means I can still use it. Um, so all the properties are still there. For instance, it overheated, so now it went back to where I can use it again. Um, I can still use my secondary and do the uh, charging shot for it as well. Um, I can also drop it. If I drop the weapon, it's still going to go through its states and do its stuff. I can go back and pick it up and keep using it. All right. So that's going to be just kind of a basic idea there for you. And uh, it's, the, again, the intent for it, those three states, those are the primary ones you'll find yourself needing or using. And you can switch those to it. And uh, again, the one thing to keep in mind, visible, invisible, um, this is going to be the state of the object here, not the state of the object picked up. The picked up state is going to override it so that it's either going to show on player, not show on player, uh, or be combined with.